In this video, we're going to be replacing the O2 sensor in this 2015 Hyundai Sonata. So we're going to remove this top cover so that we can follow our oxygen sensor cable. And we're just going to grab the four corners and lift up. All right, so we're going to open up a little bit more space for us to get to the cable. You don't have to do this step, but we'll show you why in just a second, why we recommend at least clearing out this area back here. And part of that is this intake tube here. So with the Phillips screwdriver, we'll remove these clips. We can go ahead and lift this up and out of the way and rotate it up and pull it out of your intake box, your air filter box. And we can set that aside. All right, so we have two hose clamps on our tube from our throttle body up to our air intake box. They're gonna be 10 millimeter sockets. We'll loosen the throttle body side first. Now we'll move up top to our top hose clamp. All right, now our air box here is held in by two 10 millimeter bolts. All right, so we have two hoses and hose clamps that we're gonna have to move out of the way here. We're just gonna squeeze them with a long pair of needle nose, move them out of the way. We're gonna pull these hoses right off. Now what we can do, because we've loosened everything up, is we can remove this intake from the throttle body by pulling away. And we can take our whole intake box and tube out as one piece, or you can take your tube out separately because we've loosened this. There is one more peg straight down in the back holding your box in place. So what we'll do is we'll grab this We'll lift straight up. And out of the vehicle. If you now follow your wire from your oxygen sensor, you can see that it goes to this plug here, which is why we opened up all that space. You don't need to do that. If you can get to this and get it unplugged off of this bracket and off of this bracket here without freeing up all this space, you'll save yourself some time. This way here, it's a little bit easier to work. So we're gonna unplug this. I'm gonna move that out of the way. This is the oxygen sensor side. Okay, and we're held in by one clip right here on this bracket. All right, so we've located our upstream sensor. It's gonna be in our heat shield. If you put a little tug on your heat shield, you'll notice that this cup here doesn't move with the heat shield. So we're gonna need to get a 22 millimeter deep oxygen sensor socket in there. What you may have to do is use a hammer to seat this down around the oxygen sensor. There's just enough clearance for ours to slide down. But you may have to tap that into place. We're gonna use a breaker bar. Break that free. Just gonna use a pair of panel tool pliers. Try and squeeze that. And pull that out. Now that we have our cable free, we can continue to spin out our O2 sensor. Okay, with our new O2 sensor, we are going to 
lower it into position and thread it in by hand to start. So now that we've got it snugged up, we're going to come back and torque that down to 32 foot-pounds. Again with our O2 sensor socket. Okay. Now that we know our O2 sensor won't be spinning anymore, we can rotate our cable down into position and route it where it needs to go. All right, so we're just gonna route this back through. We are going to plug in our plug before we clip our clips in. We're gonna set this channel here onto our metal tab here. We can plug in our clip. All right, now your O2 sensor is installed. We can start reinstalling our intake. If you want to, you can separate your tube from your box or you can drop it all in as one piece. We're gonna keep it loose, but as one piece. We're gonna put our box in. And what we're gonna aim for is the pin in the back and the two front bolts here. Once we are in position, we'll just push straight down. And on the front, we will guide our tube onto our throttle body. Right, now what we can do is put our two front bolts in our intake box here. All right, so now we can make sure our tube to our throttle body is fully seated all the way in. Once it is, we can tighten up our hose clamp here. And we do the same thing on the top. All right, now that we have those in, we'll go ahead and reconnect our front and back hoses here. We'll start in the back. Just push that all the way on. And the front. And we'll come back with our needle nose pliers and move our hose clamps into place. Okay, so now we can reinstall our intake tube here. We're gonna seat it into the intake box or our air filter box first. And drop down the front into position, line up our holes. And we can go ahead and put our push pins back in. and our engine cover. I like to line up the hole around my oil fill cap. Give it a rotate and then tap it down in all four corners, make sure it's seated and you're done. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.